Hello and welcome to the second, or third, depending on how you're looking at it, episode of the podcast. This one is a League of Legends special. I'm joined today by the dashing David. No. <laughs> why, the, are you doing a, why are you doing a Gambra's intro? Hold on, hold on, hold on. The, Such a gam intro. The beautiful Brandon. Hey. Oh. <laughs> and uh, obviously myself being, you know, literally the definition of perfect. Brandon, what do you do? Who is your summoner? And what does he do? Yeah, that's, uh, we're not allowed to make that quote anymore. They reworked him and ruined him again. Yeah, I know. They could have kept him. <laughs> <missing. laughs> More to put Brandon. Yeah. Yo. Um, I make YouTube videos. I'm, I'm a little small channel at the moment, but I make montages when I can. And uh, bits on the side as well. So, yeah. Okay, we'll have a link to his channel. Mon- and montages in, uh, in what exactly? Uh... In League of Legends. There you go. He plays League of Legends. What a surprise. That's why I got the the reference. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, So, League of Legends. League of Legends special. That's what it says, unfortunately. Take it away, David. Okay, I'm going to start by addressing just MOBAs in general before we actually get on to League of Legends. Because... I mean, I've played a pretty big range of MOBAs now. I've played all the way from fucking, obviously, League of Legends. He's gone. He's left. Did you hear him leave? I know. Hold on. Yeah, he is. <laughs> okay. I played everything from fucking League of Legends to Dota to Dawngate to Smite. So I think I've, I've played quite a lot of um, different MOBAs. And they're all exactly the same. <laughs> Every single one is the same game. So, like, Brandon, you haven't played much more than just League, have you? No, I, I tried Dota once, but uh, I couldn't. I couldn't get into it. It's, I think Dota's aimed at like a, a older audience. Because honestly, I played Dota and it felt a lot more in depth for the league. Maybe that's just because you uh, you hadn't played it before and you hadn't got used to it. I mean, to a new player, league can seem really in depth. So. Oh yeah, I remember my first game on league. I got I went like fucking one to twenty seven against bots. I don't even know how the basic attack. <laughs> you look back and you remember how you didn't know how to last hit farm. You're sitting there like, <laughs> wow. Damn, I was shit. But like, trying to one v one towers. Yeah, one v one towers. Why isn't this working? <laughs> but they all tend to be around the same sort of thing. They do go and destroy the enemy's thing. In the yeah, middle. it's all. It's usually the the normal free lane, uh, like camp, with fucking jungles on either side, mm-hmm. or at some part of the map. Where the ob- the final objective tends to be destroy two tower, uh, three towers, inhibitor, then nexus. Yeah. Which, with... as far as I'm concerned, is the same on nearly all games. I know Smite is two towers in, then it's Phoenix, which is the equivalent to like an inhib- inhibitor that defends itself. Uh huh. And then it's the Titan, the enemy team's Titan, which is basically a nexus with its own towers, all built into one big shebang. Yeah. yeah. Dota's is. is... Almost identical to League of Legends, uh, to League of Legends except, except, except the river is a lot more in depth, and so is jungle. And uh, the inhibitor and doesn't uh, doesn't respawn either. Oh, does it not? Is I it down permanently? I don't. I think it's down permanently. It gives you a slight buff to your minions in that lane. I know. Because there's a lot two. More confusing. Because you look at the enemy bases, I know there's a lot more than just what you usually have, which is like nexus towers inhibitor. In there, there's like barracks and shit as well, isn't there? Uh, yeah, yeah. The barracks. You have a ranged barracks and a a melee barracks and you have to destroy both of them to get both of the buffs or one of them to get one of the buffs. No. Which yeah. just seems like it's way more, too More in-depth. things to kill for more buffs. Yeah, it's just more things. There's a lot of stuff going on in Dota. Like, there's a lot of river buffs and... Yeah, shrines, yeah. There's, yeah. there's shrines. There's... What uh, sort of bosses are there? Because, of course, in League of Legends you have Baron Nasher. In uh, Smite you have the Gold Fury and the Fire Titan. What do you get in Dota? You get... Pretty sure it's just one, and it's Roshan, and he drops uh, the equivalent of a Guardian's Angel, called... Huh. Uh, I don't know what it's called. It, it, it revives it's, the person it's who... It's single use, isn't it? it? It's only one person who can take that. Only one person can pick it up. Yeah. So I suppose you put that on, like, your carry or your assassin, something yeah, that yeah, they're yeah, yeah, used yeah. for it. Yeah. So, 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 yeah. Is, that, is that, like, permanent until the next day? So if you didn't die, you could get, like, five yeah. of these? <laughs> or is it, like, a think, cooldown sort of thing? I think it's a permanent. I think it acts as an item, so you need a space in your inventory as well. Oh. I think okay. so, like that. I, I didn't actually know that. 
I know. So I it's played it's more of a, a mid game kind of thing. Yeah. You wreck, yeah. Up, you wreck up the gold, you kill it, and you've still got an item space. Yeah, because yeah, in late game, of course, nothing. You got nowhere to yeah, put it up here. Unless, unless Dota has this like trinket slot for this certain. Oh buff. yeah. Like say having a ward slot specifically for buffs. Yeah. That'd be a bit. That'd be a bit uh, strange. Yeah. Why would you even have the item if you? Yeah. But, but still. I know. Yeah. Go on. Go on, Vince. Go um, on. I was going to go into uh, Heroes of the Storm because obviously okay, it has the. Uh, uh, saying R a lot. It has I'm... the. What are they called? It's oh, the objectives, yeah. like the laser beams. Most of them, they're all focused on destroying the enemy's base faster, basically, in Heroes of the Storm. None of them really mean anything more other than just damage things. Because mm. obviously the... Oh, the ghost guy... Fuck. The ghost guy... I don't know what it's called. The ghost pirate launches its cannonballs at the, uh, at the buildings... The Sand King guy just has its temples, which shoot the buildings. The yeah. Spider Queen has spawned spiders, which directly attack the uh, the buildings. And then on the other maps, you spawn a monster who you can take over and they destroy the buildings. It's, for a game that has a lot of maps, there's not that much variation between them in Heroes of the Storm. I thought it was a, it's a fun game. Maybe not as in-depth as League of Legends or Dota, but they should definitely be a little bit more experimental. Mm. If you're going to go with like a shit ton of maps, like five odd maps at the moment. A uh, a point I wanted to make about um, Dota, just before I forget, was that um, Dota the the mana costs and the cooldowns are insane. So I can see the more of the appeal to League of Legends. So if if you've played League of Legends, you'll know that we have the the Earth mode, the ultra rapid fire. So it's kind of like going from Dota to League is kind of going from League to Ultra Rapid Fire. I think, and, yeah. And I think yeah. Heroes of the Storm has no mana at all? No, no, I can't oh, remember. Yeah. That I don't know. That doesn't sound right. I think No, there are costs in Heroes of the Storm. They're basically insignificant because, for the most part, champions never get close to using up their maximum amounts. And because the mini games in Heroes of the Storm are just so demanding of you being back at base a lot or dying a lot because of the objectives that you're meant to be getting like for instance in the pirate one you're you're all fighting to get these fucking um yeah. galleons from each other by killing each other and then you've got a bum rush this fucking giant chest where you've got 10 people crowded around it fighting each other killing each other so they can't put the gold in so at, at that point your mana cost becomes pretty insignificant because you're just dying repeatedly Mm. Yeah, that's or you're recalling yeah. repeatedly to try and keep your health and mana up so that you don't lose your galleons. That's the difference between Dota, League, and um, Heroes of the Storm. In Dota, mm. if you die, a portion of your money is given to the person who kills you. Or you or you just lose it entirely, I, I don't know. You, you lose money, basically, if you die. A small portion of it. Yeah. In League of Legends, obviously, you just give them money. You don't lose the money. In, and in, uh, in Heroes of the Storm, death is almost only just a timer to stop you from playing the game. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's very it's mi more no of like a punishment. You don't care about the money they've got because there isn't money. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's just upgrades. a mad rush to kill as many people as you can. Yeah, because in that game, there's no. Oh, if I remember correctly, I haven't played Heroes of the Storm in a while, but there's no items, is there? Nope. You Everything get, is yeah. upgrade based. It's what you buy in your abilities and mm -hmm. your different like aspects. I think it's more of a. From from what it sounds like, it's more of like a, a fun kind of game rather than a yes, strategy. it is. Like the the games they've actually added in Heroes of the Storm, there's it's so much like more different from what they have in Dota because it's still obviously the same standard maps, but they've changed a lot about it to make it. It's actually pretty entertaining. It's yeah. not saying I could see myself playing competitively or anything like that. <laughs> but yeah, it's that's great fun. That's for the issue. Around. Yeah, it's it's not properly competitive. Unlike League of Legends, you can't really get into it. I mean, most games last 20 minutes max, or yeah. Some, yeah, sometimes 30, if you really... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it is more like a quick, fun kind of yeah. um, game thing. It's almost almost like a, a an ultra-rapid fire kind of thing. It sounds Basically, like... yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like the... No one really cares if they win or lose, they're just there to have fun. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if uh, League was like that? Um... <laughs> yeah, speaking of <laughs> which... Moving on, yeah, the community in games. 
because that is uh, quite something. Who wants to? Who wants to be the first? Is David David here, or is he still <laughs> battling his background noise? He's still battling his background noise. All right. Well, I guess I'll take it away. Um, there was one video I watched recently, actually, made by a YouTuber called Magikarp Goes Magic Does Fly. Magikarp Squeech. Goes Fly, or yeah, yeah, Squeech. Uh, used, used, used fly. That's the one. And uh, he goes on. He, he made a video of why you shouldn't become Should. a League of Legends. Yeah, I, yeah, I assume you've nice watched story. it as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was obviously people trying to. I don't really understand why, but in a sense, harassing him. In grief, yeah. Over the fact that he was playing badly that one game. And I don't. Obviously, I don't really know why. My nose is bleeding. Because it's fucking I boiling. Think they wanted. Um, those people in those games kind of wanted to. Uh, feel, feel better in themselves because obviously. Uh, Magic Arp is like a. a a high rated player and, and those those players that are, are thinking that they're beating him are, are thinking oh why aren't I why aren't I um, a higher rating than this guy why aren't I Diamond 3 why aren't I a YouTuber who's who's famous I, and they're they're kind of taking that out on him whereas he's just trying to have a, a nice game with his, his friends on, on a new champion so yeah it, I don't understand I mean especially when it comes to games which are competitive like that I mean obviously when it comes to games you know another example of how it would how it's done differently but uh it's just I don't know if it's more of like a notice them kind of thing like they just want I don't know it, yeah it's bizarre how people behave in League of Legends compared to games like which have no competitive scene at all I don't know Gary's mod yeah. for instance that's completely <laughs> It's the only time okay. I can think yeah. of at the moment. Yeah, yeah it's, it's completely non-competitive. I think, I think that it, it is, like you say, the competitiveness that that makes people hostile uh, towards other people because obviously they want to they want to win and they want to you know gain Nilo and and, and LP. <laughs> when but it comes to normal how, games, yeah. Well, how it comes out, like how how they express their um, desire, distaste. Distaste. is yeah distaste for let's say uh, bad plays or someone on the enemy team who is uh, feeding and and the person let's say the top laner is just giving them a load of grief because um, let's say they were like two divisions above them or something um, I feel that that is is what it what is wrong with the community at the moment yeah what it's, I mean, it, there's a lot of games which now share, especially CSGO as well. That's, the competitive scene on that game, I think, is actually higher than uh, League of Legends. Just for the pure fact that people go to great lengths to cheat in yeah. order to achieve a higher rank. But at the end of the day, that rank achieves nothing. Sure, you could be the you could be challenger in CSGO League equivalent of CSGO, but... What has that achieved you? You're, you're, you're challenging now. Congratulations. Like, is that was that your goal to start off with? To achieve the highest rank? You've achieved it. It came with no, nothing well, else. It didn't come with, like, I don't know, money. You yeah. <laughs> don't really understand why people strive to be... Like, it's one thing striving to, be, to get better at the game. And naturally yeah. progress and level up. And get higher ranks. Like how David was when he started off in being a, a wooden five scrub lord. And now he's... What? Slowly seven, making his way wood. Was it wood seven? Yeah, it was, isn't it? Was. it? Yeah. From wood seven, now on his way towards, well, in gold, I'm pretty sure, and making yeah, his way towards the higher ranks. Yeah, he's doing well. In in like two months, right? Damn straight, I'm doing well. There you go. There you go. He's back again. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was distracted by family. What part are we on now? Where are we? We are talking community. about community. We're talking about League of Legends community specifically, or any communities. All communities. All communities. Mm, mm. I spoke okay, about well, hackers and CSGO and all of that. Oh, Christ. I guess, could, could CSGO be considered a MOBA? Well, I mean, in technical definitions, <laughs> yes. Because MOBA stands for massively... No, multiplayer, multiplayer online, online battle, arena. battle arena. But, I mean, that can literally <laughs> just be very, a fight. That's a very loose term, though. Yeah. It is. In that yes. sense, because a fucking Unreal Tournament could be considered a MOBA at that point, then. Yeah. yeah, we're talking about people's um, desire to just be the best for whatever it takes. Well, that's, then... that's the drive that makes people play ranked in these sort of games. 
Yeah. There's, no, it's, there's no real yeah. achievement other than being better than other players. So it all just comes down to, to like self fulfillment in the end. Yeah. But then, Unless like, for people that hack, those... yeah, like, why yeah. would you hack to achieve the highest rank? Because, because you're it's, there. It's, and then it's what? also social status. It's, in a sense, social status in that game is dictated by what rank you are. Social status. Like, no, it, it, it's a thing. You can laugh all you want. Oh, yeah. If you see a challenger player, you're going to respect them. Yeah. If you spoke to a challenger player, in most cases I've seen when people have met challenger players, they will freak out and get really excited and things. But why? Because this person's good at playing a video game. Because they, and the chances are they're not even a skilled player. They've just been on that video game for a considerably longer time than you have. Mm. So well, they, they genuinely, learn. oh, generally, sorry. Leads well, that's to, to how skills. it works. Yeah, most challenger players I can guarantee have been playing since season one, most likely. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Or maybe even before season one, before it even went into rank stages, back when it was just a shitty beta game or whatever it was beforehand. I oh, wouldn't know. I joined in season four. <laughs> I don't know. I joined in season two. Yeah, uh, you're that's... yeah, you're borderline. You're bordering the why idolization is is not. That's good. it. it is... yeah. These people that are really good at the game, they build a following just by being good at the game. There's all these lower people who are looking up to them as if they're some sort of god. And then mm. the the issue is that you get with that. Is that they look up to them as some sort of god, and then they use them, and they kind of like they they make them they make themselves feel that they're better than other people because they are supporting someone who is better than other people. Yeah, there's a lot of ego problems in these sort of games. Like someone who yeah. would, I don't know you get it with teams as well, and I suppose it, it, football, I assume all of those games, like someone who supports <laughs> like uh, I don't even fucking know someone who supports Liverpool, and. Someone who supports <laughs> fucking if Portsmouth still existed, because I'm pretty sure they don't anymore. If yeah, someone no, supported Portsmouth, exist. but like they would think they're better than that person who supports Portsmouth. Yeah, because they because support their team a better is better. Team. And it's that's, like, what's, that's what people call glory hunting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, the amount of people who fucking support Liverpool. Someone who follows a person not Liverpool. because they like that person, it's because they like the fact that it makes them better. Yeah. Yeah. Or they think it makes them better. Yeah. That's the same in these sort of things. They meet a challenger, they try and be really nice and make friends with them because it makes them a better person by knowing this skilled player. Yeah, it's it's not because they want to know this person, it's because they want to brag to their friends later. Oh, I've got Dyrus on my friends list. Dyrus. It's like, in the community as well, I think one of the main problems is Riot, specifically, like for League of Legends, they focus a lot on the fact that there's flamers and people that are negative towards the game and they treat them as if they're a huge problem um, which I can 100% agree with, I'm not saying they're not but I personally believe that trolls are a way bigger problem people who go into games just, they don't go there to flame, they go stay silent but they go in there for the one thing they want to do which is like, I don't know I want to fucking play AP Darius mid <laughs> just because I want to, I want to ruin these people's game for my own selfish reasoning People like that, I think, are a way bigger problem than flamers because flamers still play the game properly. They're flaming because, on a lot of cases, they're on tilt and they're pissed off because their teams don't play well or they're doing badly. Yeah. But they're, and, they're uh, trying. This might be one of the reasons why they're talking about team builder for ranked. That's what they need to get. Yeah. What, you can decide your role before you reach it. Of course, it takes mm. out the factor where you can actually ban against someone. True, true. That's going to cause issues because, of course that one of the main things in ranked is that you can tactically ban and counter pick against your enemies. Yeah. But well, of course, I assume, I assume you, would, you would build your team, have all of your people, oh, well, and well, then you, and you then, then like you select pick. a role, you go into the champ select, and then they ban and then they choose their champs for each role they've already pre-selected. Perhaps, yeah, that would be Yeah, good. maybe yeah. something like that, that would probably work. I was I more thinking... Say, a top main can go in queue for a top, and a mid main can go in queue for a mid. Yeah. And yeah. once they get in, they then choose their champion. In the order, yeah, that's, the that's order. fair. That would probably and be then better. Yeah. What will happen then is that um, all six bands will go to, let's say, a top laner, and they'll have no champions left. Yeah, <laughs> I think at any time they can also offer to trade roles as well. Yeah, that would be that. Like, in like, is it the same as you're doing a run where you switch champions, have that sort of button at all times available, so they can switch their role quickly if they need to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all you really need to do is just make it so the like all all you need to do is you go onto ranked, you click the rank button. And then you choose your preference on what role you want, 
and then you just you just go and then it would act exactly like how rank does now, except you have a preference on your mm -hmm. role. So then the system would just put you into a team who some, one person said they want support, one person said they want mid. Yeah. And like, it, nothing actually changes so fundamentally. That's, that's a huge issue, I find, in ranked. I've, I can't count how many times I've got into a goddamn lobby and four people have gone, pref mid! Yeah, yeah. mid on. And they've all had an argument. They all go to their own separate lanes, but the issue is none of them know how to play their separate lanes because they all just sit on the same lane every game. Yeah. They're yeah. forced to play these top support and ADC, and they will feed... And they will flame each other. They'll be like, why didn't you let me go mid? I could have done better than you did on mid. And then they'll all bitch at each other and it'll end up just surrendering at 20. Yeah. Because they've done so much crying that they spent 10 minutes typing and 10 minutes crying and feeding. Yeah. Yeah. Like, essentially, what all they need to do is introduce it so you could have a preference on what role you want to go in. And then, yeah. you, and then from that, it just decides, like, you know, it, the system puts a priority on making a team which is dedicated to having yeah. a, one of each role instead. Because, yeah. I mean, I know with Team Builder, there's a, usually a quite a long wait queue in comparison to just regular queues. Yeah. But that's but not... I think people would be willing to sacrifice that yeah, yeah. for the exchange of not having a little kid who's going to get upset because he doesn't get to main ADC this game. And, and uh, as decided, well. It's trolling time and he's going to pick fucking Warwick ADC. Yeah. Or some shit. Yeah. I just purposely... Minor tongue there, right? Game. Warwick ADC is, is, is fucking... Shut genuine. up. <laughs> as well, <laughs> um... People will, uh, there'll be shorter uh, wait times, I think, for ranked because not many people play Team Builder just as normals. Like, there's yeah. maybe half, 50% of all people. But with ranked, you've, uh, like, most people, I think 95% of people play ranked. So I it's going to be a lot shorter wait time. I still personally think that they should completely remove the blind pick in normals. Yeah. I personally think that Team Builder should be the only option for normals. Mm -hmm. because yeah. I mean, what it would easily gain from leaving it as blind pick. Well, the, the, I think the main reason I don't play Team Builder is because I think maybe firstly I actually don't have it unlocked yet, and secondly, <laughs> actually I think I might at this point. But and secondly, it's the fact that it would take it takes ages. It takes at least five minutes to build a team. If you yeah. just get rid of blind pick at all, saying, if they made it, a people aren't going to have a choice. Thing that would be a lot more people on Team Builder. Yeah, mm. like people are and not going to have a choice, are they? They're going to have over Team Builder. Support players as well, because there's not enough support players in the community. Mm. Supporters and junglers. Junglers are all scared off because it puts a lot of weight on their shoulders. If they fuck up a gank and feed that lane, that's it. They've got the whole team on their back blaming them for that lane losing. And if they, if they don't yeah. gank, yeah, they don't then, gank, they, then they, they fuck up anyway. Well, they get counter jungle, they won't have the team to back them up in most cases, and then that's their fault as well. It's a lot of pressure on junglers. And with supports, they're just not giving anything. They're not giving any glory or like respect for what they do. I think it's yeah. One of the main facts I don't like support is that the items are just kind of stale. They're just stale. Yeah, they're very. I boring. mean, sight stone. Sight stone for something which is somewhat expensive gives you four hundred health. That's it. Yeah. And it's like this like, is support crap. Support lane face has to be one of the boring, like, most boring things ever. You don't even get to farm. You have to just walk around, maybe poke a little if you're lucky enough to have oh. a support that pokes. And in try the, and in the high relo, it is a lot more complicated. Well, of course, because there's a lot of poking, trading, and things that happen on the lane. Yeah. But I mean, in our current elo, gold and platinum, for the most part, it'll be the ADCs farming and every now and then throwing maybe a skill shot or a basic attack into the mix to annoy each other, while the two supports run around looking for an opening. But it's boring just walking around in circles, playing like Blitzcrank or something. Look for that one <laughs> yeah. you can land. I think you can just never find it because it's a huge minion wave and their ADC knows what it means to just stand in the minion wave. Because <laughs> that blitz hook is like 20 times the size of the actual hook itself. Yeah. Yeah. So it's impossible to get it for a minion wave. So they just stand there free farm and don't ever have to worry about it and there's nothing happens. There used to be a tribunal, didn't there? For League of Legends. Be, I wish it still existed because I'd love to look through that sometimes and just look at some of the reasons people have been banned. Because that, uh, like, yeah. I, mainly I just go straight to the verbal abuse section and look at some of the arguments these people have. So now I've seen some videos on YouTube and they're fucking hilarious. The arguments people have and the things they get reported and banned for. <laughs> it's the dumbest shit. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me. Why? Why do people go reported in game? It's just like you can't report in game. It's you because idiot. they're looking. They're trying to get a rise out of you. They're saying, I'm going to report you in the hopes that you're going to get even more pissy about it and be like, no, well, I don't care. Fuck you. You can report me if you want. I'm just like, okay, cool. <laughs> Chat ban. Say reporting the game deserves to get reported theirself because that's negative. That's negative attitude. 
I uh, I, don't, I don't report everyone every game. They're trying to get a rise out of the person they're talking. I'm to. making it so everyone in the entire League of Legends community has a chat ban because then everything's cleaned up. <laughs> no, yeah. I just add a voice chat. That'd be even funnier. Oh, oh yeah, do you remember that cursed voice chat? Whatever called. Oh, I used it yeah. for like two games. And in both of those games, I had a squeaky little kid on the mic who was just screaming orders at everyone. I was like, no, no, I'm not having a kid half my age telling hey guys, me. Need to <laughs> <laughs> That's what they sound like, yeah. Because they haven't done their voice activation properly because they've really. And they've idiot. got their eBay connection as well to add in. <laughs> but yeah, it is really terrible. I wish they'd put an age rating on games like this. Or well, they should put an age rating on the ranked sections. They should be ranked like, um, <laughs> ranked like, uh, I'm trying to think I, th I think now you're going into the realms of fantasy, it, David. It, they, um, I know it's fantasy. This is very, this, this is fictional <laughs> as it gets. But even, even the uh, more uh, mature people still rage and. Uh... <laughs> yeah. They did age grouping. It should be 18 and plus <laughs> and everything below. <laughs> Bye, Brand. <laughs> Uh, I get to play with all the adults who mostly know what they're doing, yeah. and then you're stuck with the little kids who tend to be where the flaming lies. Isn't isn't like um what's it? Best driven NA aren't they like really young, or they used to be when they first came in what? popularity? Xbox is pretty young, isn't he? Uh, but no, no, no. Best driven NA. The the his actual name is best driven NA. Oh, is that what his actual in-game name is? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, sorry. But yeah, he's pretty young. I'm not sure how old he actually is because this isn't racist. He's Asian. And I can't tell what the ages of Asians because they all seem to have such like fucking perfect complexions and shit, like skin and everything. You can't tell how old they are. Asians don't get spots. That is the fucking truth. <laughs> Asians do not get blemishes. They do not get spots. They do not get blackheads. <laughs> they have like pure skin no matter when you see them. So you can never tell their actual age. That's, unless that's like, why Bots Box could dress up as Riven and people would think it was a woman. I, I actually saw, um, I was watching a video of, I think it's Box Box talking to some other streamer. And I remember he said, do you want to see me touching my boobs? And everyone's reaction in the um, stream chat was just them freaking out. And he sent this gif of him in his Riven cosplay rubbing his boobs. <laughs> <laughs> I was disturbed and slightly <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> It was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I, I, I feel like we've gone slightly off topic. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Still mobile. We're going to have to see this cosplay gift. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> this is going to go in the video, I think. Yeah. Just put an image up. Like, yeah, yeah, it's an image of what you're looking at right now. You got, I mean, you have to edit, Vince. Oh, what? You crash it, right? All right, but... um. Coming off of the community section, because let's, let's, I think we've spoken enough about the other shitty mobas, let's get into League a bit more. Yeah. Further. Like, okay. The game itself it's right now... deeper. <laughs> the game itself right now is, I, I think since I joined in Season 4, things have slowly got worse. Or I don't know if it's because, of course, I've got more used to the game. But recently I've just noticed more and more imperfections in the champions, the items, and just the game in general. I'm not uh, sure if it's just me becoming aged at the game, or if it's the game itself just actually getting worse. Well, since um, I think I joined at the end of season two, um, and since then I have noticed like improvements. I I understand what you mean about some of the uh, issues that you have, but I mean issues come with improvements most of the time. So you trade one for the other. Um, but what issues did you have in mind particularly? Like for instance. Uh, all the new champions they've released, I, I can't name a single champion on its release <laughs> that wasn't a complete fuck up for like three weeks and ruined countless games for me, just down to the fact that they didn't leave it in beta for long enough. Mm. Like, that's the, I thought that was the point of these betas, they're meant to fix any balancing issues in the beta. Mm. Not just chuck mm. it into the game and watch everyone cry as it destroys. <laughs> release Sinzo. Yeah, release Zinzao. <laughs> Even now Zinzao's an annoying piece of shit. His damage from release. his Falcon Strike is absolutely insane. His just his kit itself is absolutely mental. If you're in the right team sort of comp against someone, you can just tear through them in no time. What about Yasuo? Yasuo's fucking that's it, that's annoying. That's what I mean. This is what I meant by You get one release. good Q, Yasuo, your ADC's dead. Well he's he's not at, he's actually 
pretty weak nowadays. No, but it depends. It's, 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 so he, he's, he has as soon as you get one item, uses, he's just not, get your tornado on their ADC and. That's what he used to be, like, but nowadays it's wow. not quite as simple. Mm -hmm. But I get what you mean. With Yasso on release, it was insane. His Q's damage was through the roof. His E's mobility, I think the cooldown that it took on each target before it let him E again was a lot lower. Yeah. His Wimbledon egg haven't changed much. I know his ultimate's penetration was considerably higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just his entire penetration. kit. He had loads of movement speed at base. He had loads of AD at base, attack speed. He just had everything going for him. And I it think... Was... <laughs> oh, go ahead. It was mental. He was the anti-AP that they been <laughs> following Gallio, who'd, who'd decided to fucking lay down right, his Cassidy stones. Right, was meant to be the anti-AP. Yeah, uh, true. Cassidy got... But then, oh, you know, I haven't. Dead. I haven't seen a Cassidy since... The alt nerf. Yeah. I know I've played Cassidy. I haven't, I haven't I tried tackling that um that ball again. And I went something along the lines of one to nine. Fucking no. I came up against a Katarina. I was told that I counted Katarina. <laughs> and I refused to believe that after that game. <laughs> it's just I was he just has no damage. In every sense. Just destroyed. He has, he has no damage and his ultimate if his ultimate was reduced down to like two seconds or something, something not obviously like that. But something lower, considerably lower. And his main uh, his main skill was mm -hmm. movement. He would be so yeah. much better. See, what pissed me off was they nerfed that, but yet they let Akali have a fucking <laughs> assist reset jump that's like triple the length of his ultimate. True, but it it's, is targeted. It's same amounts of damage. It's targeted as well, which you might consider a bad thing, but I think that's a whole better thing because mm. when you're going, like in most cases, casting, you would jump walls and or whatever, or yeah. if you try jumping on an assassin, they just dodge it because they can tell you're about to jump on them. Mm. Where, in this case, they, there's no dodging Akali's goddamn ultimate. That was insane. I'm glad they nerfed her, because she needed it. Mm -hmm. I think that, uh, speaking of release um, issues, Tom Kench, the recent one, <laughs> the, the W... Okay, okay. <laughs> max rank with zero AP, 39% max health magic damage. Okay. <laughs> that, that's with no AP. So people were playing that full AP near to release, yeah. and they were eating people at full health, spitting them out and doing all kinds of like 2k damage in one yeah, it's spell. And it's just like, stupid. what the fuck? No, okay. Um, I know, I know I'm, I'm rambling about my own, you know, issues with the game. However, I think in order to fix this, they should tweak the numbers on the W and give, um, a cooldown on the the three stack passive, so you can't instantly eat them again. Yes. You know what I mean? Because yeah, you I get mean. you get slowed after you get spat like, out. You should do three basic attacks, either hit them with your Q, your W, or your oh what is the fuck you eat it? Eat them the shield. Eat the shield, yeah. Okay. So either Q or W, and once you hit either of those two abilities on the person with three stacks, the three stacks are gone completely. Yeah. And then say there'll be like a three second cooldown before you start reapplying stats. Well, the thing well, is, I think there, there is more than three because his W lasts like two. Of them. The issue is, is that it takes. I think that there actually may be a timer on his W, but the problem is, it's it takes some time to get the auto attacks off on them to get devour stacks up. So by the time you've got the devour stacks on them again, the uh, the invulnerability to his W have worn off already. So, but it doesn't actually make like there was the flat. The fact that he had to attack them with his basic attacks. Yeah. That was naturally a uh, an inhibitor for his W. But now You can but, because, apply it with the Q. Yeah, you can play yeah, you can apply so stacks. You, you, with you his can Q. auto attack Q and then instantly auto attack again and you that that takes and like then just non a second. Ward lost ward well, it's four powers. stacks. Yeah, you need to exactly. you need four stacks. Not three. You have to make them red, not yellow. They created a lot of o overpowered combos as well. No, I'm pretty sure we have three. No, it's four stacks. Release. I'll have to look that up. Uh, this says three stacks. If I'm doing something wrong, or I think it, I think it goes red when it hits three. So I have another thing to say as well about uh, release champs, which will move around back to Tom Kench, but Callista <laughs> on release. Okay, for a start, I don't know why they'd ever think of doing this, but they gave an ADC a percentile health damage, yeah, which for a start is just cough, cough, stupid. Vein. Do not do that. Well, veins isn't percent our health, is it? It's just isn't it flat? Just flat true damage. No, percent uh, max it's health. Flat plus it's percent percent max health. health. Yeah. It's like, it's but it's not an insane percentage. Is it? It's like two or three. Eight. It's considerably higher than I thought it was. She's she's not yeah. she's not weak. She is. However, it is it is three auto attacks. Yeah, it but is it's not. Three. Really, yeah. 
it's not I really have 75 no, true it's, damage it's not, every It's fucking it's Master, serious. obviously Master Yi is not very good towards no, but his, smart people. His, but his he absolutely does. attack isn't that bad though, it compares to Irelia. Whenever I'm tank, he will do more true damage than attack damage on me. Oh yeah, fucking he tends stupid, to do that, but so does Irelia. 75 oh, true right, damage yeah. flat. Yeah, flat. It's basic attack. Yeah, yeah. yeah Where he's five, so, yeah. like 30 or something. I think it's 45. Yeah, it's, it's nowhere near as high as hers, though. No, no. I, I it's know, it's, it's, it's 10% exactly. of your ability power, so it'd, be, it'd probably be around 40, yeah. 35, 40. Yeah, it's that plus whatever. But um, but with Callista's release, like, of course, her Q, I remember I used to have max Q at first because the damage on that was, yeah. it was insane. It was like two Caitlyn Qs at max level on top of each other. It, her W was a percentile health, and that E slow was like, it started off a lot higher, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure they actually nerfed it slow. Mm. But either way, her entire kit was just bullshit. Her martial poise was really buggy as well on release. There was a lot <laughs> of weird... Also, also, at the time, they were having trouble with mobility in Champions. <laughs> so they made her... So they made Callista, like... <laughs> no one could keep up with her. She, like, I remember I was playing, uh, I think, Olaf one game. And one of the things about Olaf is that you love that you can just throw your axe, get on top and beat him. Throw your axe, beat him. Throw your axe, beat him. Throw your axe, beat him. Not Callista. Nope. Boing, 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 boing. I'm throwing my axe. It's not slow enough as shit. She's still hopping like there's no tomorrow. Yeah. Pounding on my face for those spears. I've got like 70 spears stuck in my back. She's not doing any damage. So I'm like, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. E. <laughs> Where'd my health go? <laughs> Sitting there like 10 why, HP. Why did my screen go red? No trousers on anymore. And grey. Covered in covered in urine. <laughs> <laughs> but that with Tom Kent right now is pretty the funniest combo ever. Oh yeah. You just as soon as you hit level six, just engage because it's funny as hell. Yeah. Tom Kent walks up there. He just goes absolute retard mode. Attacks them as long as he gets the free stacks of someone. It doesn't matter. Gets the free stacks. Callista ults him in once he eats them. Like, <laughs> under fucking tower and he throws. <laughs> He you don't even need to do that. They're in the towers, and he's fucked. Whoever they've captured is boned. Absolutely boned. He's not getting out of there unless he's some sort of magical genius. LeBlanc. Or he's Leona. Or LeBlanc. <laughs> uh, a LeBlanc support. Well, no, I mean roaming from mid, of course. Oh, yeah, but I mean in case of, like, laning phase. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What's he done? Oh, no, I'm seeing... What have we got now? No, I'm it's definitely been changed because I swear it's four stacks. I've always had to put it as four stacks. What? His uh, his passive. I'm trying to find it. I mean, this it's... says three stacks, but I almost oh. I swear Tom Kench. Tom's always free. No, it's always been free. Tom has always been free. I mean, I'm gonna get oh. him anyway. I, I'm, I'm gonna start maining mm. him because he's fucking OP. His his, ult, his passive oh, on his ult. His ult sucks. I don't, I don't disagree that Tom Kench is an amazing champion. The issue is, is that going back to the whole trolling community thing? Yeah, that doesn't great help. Great champion for him to deal with. I hate playing I'm... with our friends, and then one of them picks Tom Kedge. I, I feel I need to quit every single time, because all they fucking do for that entire game is piss me off. I'm actually I'll... kind of glad that Riot oh. are taking steps into making champions like that, because if you ever played uh, Dota, do you remember Tiny, the little rock guy? No. Well, oh, like, essentially, like, he can chuck you from about, uh, let's say, you're standing at Golems. He can chuck you to the furthest or bottom tower. Wow. And you don't have a choice, either. He could throw you fucking... You have no choice over that. He could pick you up, and he can throw you. So if that's an enemy, you're dead. He just lob you into the Nexus. <laughs> yeah, so... And, I mean, there are some other ones, like... Uh, Kind of like a Nivea's wall, which they they made that one thing, but it was it's like Jarvan's ult if it was a Nivea's if it was as fast as a Nivea's wall, in any way. Like Dota has a lot of champs who control heroes, a lot of heroes who control your team, but on the other side, it's ridiculous. Like if you imagine if you could chuck your ADC that far and you're you're yeah. you're the support, they're they're safe. They're not gonna die. Yeah, it's the old bad, bad team fight. Yeah. Be a funny trap for a Zed, wouldn't it? You see Zed approach, he goes to oh nope, <laughs> throw him into your neck. He's like, why the fuck am I here? <laughs> Instantly R's back because that's what Zed can do. Yeah. Oh yeah, I suppose. Zed is uh... oh, a master, master Yi if you time it right. I know I like doing that as a mid laner. If I have any sort of mid laner with a dash, I wait for him to Q and just go flush 
and then dash and I end up on the tower and he's like, oh no. <laughs> I made a mistake. But um yeah, what was that? I forgot what I was gonna say. Um hmm. I hate it when Vince jumps in and I forget what I'm gonna say. Mm. Well, what mm. who was it about? Can't remember. Bollocks. Future game, perhaps? Yeah, let's think of the future. Let's think of the future. Let's look future. towards the future. Right. Uh, the game's going to shit. Yes, yeah, it's definitely going to shit. Um, one thing I was thinking about is, do you remember when Earth was released? The yes, first yeah. time Earth was released, so about a year ago. And they yeah. were like, uh, we've give, they, they gave every single champ a flat speed boost to counter the yeah. fact that you wouldn't need boots. Obviously, yeah. what ended up happening was that everyone just bought boots because that's what they knew. So then it became the uh, meta, I suppose, of Earth to buy boots regardless. And uh, I think that, like they've done with trinkets, there will be a set, like, box for boots. That should be a thing. Uh, I don't know. Because, I mean, they're, they're obviously not they, going they'd to... They'd have to add a lot more items to the game to make the builds diverse, because otherwise you'd just be getting, like... Yeah, it'd just so. be an extra item, and, and it, wouldn't, it wouldn't mean anything. You're just like, okay, I've got these. I should have boots now, but I may as well get this item instead, instead of actually thinking about, you know, the, the, your build, because there's not that many items. I mean, obviously there are a lot well, they're of they're definitely adding items. new items. And uh, yeah, obviously everyone, everyone knows Black Market Brawlers was more of an item test rather than... <laughs> Possibly they instantly added in Dead Man's Plate. I don't... I don't really see the point of that, to be honest. I mean, it's good, but... It's just armor and health. You got like an Olaf or something, or someone or a Vi who can use the passive on it. Then I guess it's all right. But I would have really liked to see Trickster's glass. Yeah, that's oh, an insane. Yeah. That would be cool. No, I that item that. was so dumb. <laughs> I loved it. it was the so whole premise behind that item was funny. Okay, yeah. but it, it should never, ever, ever be implemented <laughs> in a goddamn normal basis game or a ranked game. Because I can only imagine how hellish that would be. Every support would buy yeah, it. Yeah, support Just because it's fucking funny. Yeah. And you just be You transform into your mid lane as a goddamn 4,000 health Nautilus. You walk through their jungle innocently, minding your own business. You get gang jumped by five people and you go, Haha, I planned it. Bang, they're all gone. Yeah. You fly them all to pieces because you're Nautilus and you look like a Katarina with 300 health. The I am stupid. <laughs> the fact that you you as your own team can't even see who the fuck it is is annoying as well. <laughs> when you look at them, there's no indicator to show that's the transformed person. It's just another Ash walking around <laughs> in your screen. It With doesn't say. They didn't put like a little arrow above their head or anything for the, yeah. for your team, just so you could know what's going on. It's the only. Uh... The only difference is with the items. You can click on them and see their items. Yeah, but I mean, in the case that you're playing it, you get confused. I know I fucking got tricks to glass by one of my teammates, and I lost myself. I was trying to fucking control him and wondering why it wasn't working. <laughs> I'm like, why am I going up? No, down, down, I'm trying to farm. And I look, I'm like, oh. I am farming. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, the whole, the whole competitive scene game. doesn't allow Trix's class to exist. It was definitely a funny item, though. It was I a funny item, but... No. When if are they going to, to add Force of Nature? They're not, they're, they're not. They're going to keep it out of the no. game forever. Force of Nature was <laughs> great. Forever. It was the five, yeah, it was the was five chest plate. The five chest plate rule. You go Warmogs, you go Leviathan, you go Force of Nature, Sunfire Cape, and... Spirit Visage. Uh, Spirit Visage, yeah. And then obviously Boots. No, you don't, you don't get Boots. You, you get... Um, Where was your Atmos and Paler in that build? That's not, it's yeah, not an armor. Out. Why's, where's your Atmos and Paler? It's not, it's, not, it's not a chest plate, David. It's not a chest plate. Atmos and Paler, where's your Atmos and Paler? Fine, you just swap it for your boots. You need a spear with all those. You, with all actually, those you don't need boots. Yeah. You've got Force of Nature. It gives you, like, what was it? I don't know, 7% was it? Something. I don't know, but Sin just loved that item. I think it was 7%. Sin was running wild, enjoying himself. But what do you think of competitive Oh, it was 8% like, movement speed. Teams. And how they actually do things. Because I personally don't understand how worlds and things worked out. Mm. It's, like, it's. I don't know if. Uh, uh, I'm who decides who goes into worlds? Well, okay. Well, <laughs> I don't know what this is. Um, well, worlds is the championship between aware, leagues. As far as I'm aware, first you need to qualify for LCS, 
which you do by getting a challenger team and going through like lots of different games, applying and, and well, applying first and then going through players, lots of different games and other teams win. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and, and then you games or your set or whatever. Mm, and you you get a, a wage once you become LCS and and you go into tournaments and stuff. And I think um, depending on how well you do. Depends on if you get into worlds or not. Uh, I'm completely looking uh, outside of the competitive, comp- from outside of the competitive scene. Sorry, because uh, I don't like uh, religiously watch it. So I'm just giving my my view and what I've gathered from my well, my dipping in now and then. Yeah, even I don't compare. Even I don't watch it. I I when it's worlds, I'll go on and off. Like if there's any big games that I know are meant to be something significant to yeah. like the uh, to the whole tournament like say if I don't know Cloud9 and Fnatic are about to go at it mm-hmm. the chances are I'm going to sit back and watch at least one or two of those games yes yeah. I mean you learn a lot from watching LCS actual players you do playing against each other there's a lot I, you notice that they do but you've never even thought of trying mm-hmm. for instance Vladimir Mid <laughs> some, of the, some of the strategy in uh, LCS, you you just wouldn't see it anywhere else apart from high, li- like really high challenger five v fives. Yeah, which you're not gonna see. No, because they level. they think about every little detail so much, and they they coordinate really well. For instance, dives on on early towers, like let's say level uh, four dive. I think I saw from SKT, maybe even earlier, and they they tank towers. They calculated damages absolutely perfectly and you're just not going to see that in your so they rotate solo focus on the tower as well like they'll they'll switch places on the towers and things like that and in fights so if you watch a like a big team fight up close and you can see them all moving in and out like weaving yeah. moving switching places and just fucking spinning the box around so they're hard to target it's, it's absolutely insane they build little formations as they advance into team fights as well, i've noticed yeah, they don't just all someone, they, they someone don't just walk in a talisman of ascension. They don't all just run in. Like, that's what our elo is. Fucking righteous glory. Go, 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 go. Yeah. <laughs> Where in their elo, it'll be like a, one tank's placed at the front. One tank will be placed to the left-hand side and then caster in back with ADC and support in middle or whatever. And they will do some sort of organized thing that's standard. So if they, if someone initiates on them, they have a standard, like, um, sort of moves that they will use. Mm. I say, a guy from left who might be a Jarvan will hook, uh, will flag, knock up someone. Support will then stun. A uh, tank will come backwards and close in on them or whatever. Yeah, it, we, I don't think you, we can even get into no. the whole tactical any, side. Any of this? Yeah. We, 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 if we try our hardest, we'll prob- we probably won't even scratch the surface. Yeah. As far as our tactics go, it's pinging. Yeah. Amazing calls. <laughs> pinging. Uh, excessively on the uh, the fake vein and hoping that your team listen. <laughs> yeah, 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 um, yeah. Yeah, we don't know too much about the competitive scene when it comes up. Is it still here? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm still here. I'm just... one thing I noticed uh, on here, which was oh fuck, if, I, if it reminds me again, is oh where is it? No, wait, I need to go back. It was on Force and Nature's page, and it said. Fuck. Yeah, okay, meta, that's it, you're right. So obviously back in Season 2, it was, well, they say tank meta, but it was bruiser meta more like. Basic, Na- Nasa, Nasus, um, who else? I think even Olaf was good at that point. Renekton, I can imagine. Renekton, Garen. yeah, Renekton, Garen. Gotta think. Season 2. Renekton, Garen, Volibear? Or was he not on release in Season 2? I think he, Volibear might have been Season 2. No, I think Volibear might have been late Season 3, his release. I don't remember Volibear being released, so I think he was quite early. Maybe, let me have a look. I'm going to look at his Pretty sure tape. he was, I remember Volibear being released, so I think it was season two. If, if that is the case, then he was definitely strong in that May, because he's like one of the most insane tanks going. What about Amumu? Yeah, Mumu. Mumu's always been. Yeah, Mumu's always been OP, though. Released late 2011, that's season one. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck yeah, is Titanic bad. Hydra? That's oh, a new you item. You want them? Yep. Is it in the official? Well, they're bringing back tank mail. Yeah, it's official. Yeah, I know. I don't know why they want. Well, on hit, you do, you do um, five. 
plus one percent. The warden's mail, is it? Wow, are yeah. you kidding? This is in this is in regular. This is in regular well, game. Hang on, let me look up this. Side. No, I think you're looking at uh, the beta, probably. Is it is it in black black market? Yeah, no, it's pretty in PBE. All right. Because uh, have you seen what it does? Seen this is ridiculous. Yeah. Deals five flat, which is obviously crap, but plus one percent of your maximum health. Oh I, wow! Is it is it one percent? Last time I checked, I could have swore it was like uh, we're actually one percent of maximum health. It's basically Atmos Impaler. We relive. It is Atmos Impaler uh, based on no no no. It's it, kind of Atmos Impaler was scaling AD based on uh, on health. Uh yeah, Atmos Impaler used to be two percent, and they nerfed it to one point five, and it it was crap. Well, this, so what, 5 plus 1%, so say you're a Garen, and standard Garen's health in late game will be about 4,000. So you're only really getting 40 extra AD. Well, yeah, but the thing is, you right. couple this with uh, Tom Kent, and you're dealing a 9% of your max health. And you're Tom Kent, so you've got a ton already. Mm. And then bad. on your next attack, it does uh, 40 plus 10% of your maximum health. What are the stats on the actual item itself, not including passive? 400 like, health, uh, 50 attack damage, 100% base health yeah. regen. This oh, item. 50 actual attack damage yeah, yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah, and it's a tier oh. map as well. It apply, it's a tier map. Not to mention... It well, it's, it's like a cone behind It's a tier them. map based on your health. Maximum health. And, and the cone does more damage than the actual... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the cone does more damage. Right now in my head is my little my little cogs whirring. I can see Nasus holding that item. Ooh. I can imagine that would oh. be an amazing item for Oh, him. wait a second. No, I... Is it? Titanic Hydra is being released before you second think it. It is being released in game. It's going and it's coming into. Oh my god! It's going into normal. It's not black market. Bro. I can't it's wait to use this as um, Tom Kench. I'm gonna be. I think I'm gonna try a lot of champs. Probably Olaf. I've been dealing one so much. Yeah. Like I, the the thing is, I was playing Tom Kench when he was free. So obviously you go free. What the second week they released, I think. Oh no! And I'm like, I was I one v freed. I'm a tank and I one v freeing mm. them. And I'm doing a considerable amount of damage as well. Eating them, all of that crap. He's that's OP. Please, nerf. Item. Don't stop. Don't nerf Shivana. She's Shivana. getting four buffs. This is going to be such a good item for her too. Ooh. Why is she getting so many of these items that work so well to her kit? Because she's already got this new Devourer. Which yeah, that's more She's stuff. banned like nearly 100% of my games at the moment. I try and get rid of her every game. She's such a fucking problem. Oh, it might. Aurelia as well would be on hit, and Jax. Aurelia might not be bad. Jax, I can't imagine working well because Jax doesn't uh, tend to build a lot of health. Yeah, he Jax, you normally go for what? Resistances, cooldown Bork, reduction, and utility. Um, tend to go right. It's kind of like an on hit. Frozen Heart. Oh, Warwick. Ooh. Warwick Davis. Warwick, yeah, Warwick we'll probably be good. Yeah, Warwick Davis. Midgets with um, sword. A Titanic Hydra, which looks like a mace of some sort. M midgets with mace, or or like an axe, depending on how you uh, how you look at it. But this, they are adding just pointless items at this point, aren't they? Well, I mean that's not point. That's fucking great. I love that. <laughs> I'll <laughs> definitely have that. Dude, these items don't need to. Exist. David, that's Atmos and Pale Reborn. They're, they're bringing forward tank meta even further. They don't need it. Is the game? The I mean, they got us in the hole. Season four. What? They have Cinder Hulk. I'm yeah, no, actually it. saying that, yeah. Because I wish they would change Cinder... I wish they would make a Cinder Hulk. They're playing so hard towards that meta. Where in the fuck are they going to bring back Bruiser meta? Well, um, this is or Bruiser meta. Assassin meta. This is... Well, it essentially will be. Fighter meta. Bruiser well, meta. Well, it's Assassin meta. Well, Assassin meta was season four. Sure, was I'd like to see champs it like... Yeah. Well, no, I'd like to see champs it's like fucking Fiora and Yasuo come back into it again. Actually, yeah, speaking of they Fiora... they reworked Fiora recently. Yeah. yeah. But she's not back in. Why... Not once they bring this fucking item in, at least she's not. This item's gonna be so good. She's getting kicked straight back out I'm again. I'm gonna fall in love with it. I think I'm in love, guys. I think I'm in love. It's like all these yeah. poor champs that are just sitting on the sidelines who can't do shit anymore because of the reworks. Gangplank, they reworked him. He's gonna be weak still. Well, actually, maybe not with his new kit. It could play to his advantage with a new Hydra, but. Yeah, the. Uh, like his his not barrel damage now is very strong. much bored, bored out of his fucking mind. Jack. No one plays Jace anymore. <laughs> Nobody plays Jace. No one touches it. Pantheon's barely seen anymore either. Pantheon is secret OP. Trindom is dead. Oh, you Someone haven't, you haven't seen Hyde either. Then. Take it back out. So he's just dead in the floor somewhere in the middle of the ditch. Poppy hasn't seen a rework for seven years. Yeah, Poppy definitely needs it. Galio. And yet they're, they're going Galio's for exactly. reworks. I know. Aatrox. And Skarna. Ga and Skarna had a rework. Yeah. Well. Skarna's not even that 
bad exactly. I mean, Galio hasn't had a rework for. He's not even terrible, Galio. He's just. I don't know. You need you need a team of Galio in order to be, it to be good. And in solo queue, you're yeah. not going to have that. I team know ever. we. I know I, put, I had a Galio in one of my recent games. I was playing Wukong mid lane because it's fun, very fun because you destroy without champion. He's such a great matchup. So like I was against Z, amazing matchup for Z. He ults you. You just press W. <laughs> you missed everything, noob. You kick his ass. And basically, we had a Galio jungle. As you can imagine, I was pretty fucking sceptical about that one. Doesn't really work. But... He, he successfully fed my lane yep, sounds about right. and their jungle. However, there was only there was one turning point in that entire game. Flash on I was Galio. I was in jungle uh, in their top side taking their red. He was on mid on his own with four people chasing him. He ran into my side jungle. He saw me coming around the corner. I, I was hoping he'd do something. He flashed into the middle of all four of them, ulted. I, fl I flashed um, ulted into the, sec into the middle of them. And we got a 2v4 quadra kill easy and then cleaned up and won the game. Right. All because of that fucking Galio making one play. That's what I'm it's like, he's not, it's like yeah, he's, 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 really impactful ult. Right. He's not it's a bad like type. He's just so insanely situational. There's barely any situational, like, yeah. situation. You can only <laughs> use him for ranked, and even then you can only use him for five-man ranked. <laughs> well. He requires a lot of teamwork, so yeah, five-man ranked or high elo sing solo and duo. Yeah, I mean, no one ever sees... Like, you know, where they yeah, the only fought. people who actually know how Galio is going to work are people who's played Galio at one point, or maybe off from Season 2 when Galio kind of used to be all right. Well, I mean, I've changed Cassio since then. Against, I guess AP casters, like, holy shit, Cassiopeia is such a strong champion. Yep. But you put her Galio against her, and she's not doing damage anymore. She's healing him permanently. She is a hey, Serac. Oh, and Brand as well. Um, anyone with a DOS yeah, effect. Brand. Rumble. He's an amazing top lane matchup for Rumble because of the Flame Spitter. Yep. Just healing Galio over time. All these dot champions, I mean, they've got fucking Timo against him. It's funny as well. <laughs> So he's he's got a great situational use against these sort of chance. Like someone insults a cat a Cassiopeia, picking Galio might not be a bad idea. Mm. I'm Brand as well. Just you know, Brand. But that's it. He's just Brand's uh, passive dot. Isn't it? Who replaced Brand? Yeah, that's true. I did for a short amount of time. I remember that. And I realised the reason why no one else plays him. Yes, <laughs> he's an amazing lane face. He's such a great lane bully. Issue is his scaling is fucking shit. He scales like a fucking crab walking up a hill. Uh, you ever seen that? Which I don't know if you've ever seen. It doesn't. I, I don't understand. It just it just kind of slips. Oh, I mean, no, Rick. No, that's a that's a bad example. Have you ever seen a crab? That they walk over rocks and stuff with their sideways walking. No, but I mean it's like if you get like a hill, like a grassy hill. I think a crab could probably do quite well. I don't know. I think. Do you want to test topic. it? Right. Do you want to go and get a crab and put it up a hill? <laughs> yeah. Right. Cut to the cut to the video. And me and David find a crab and put it up a hill. <laughs> yeah. We find a crab and we get to climb a hill. We force, we force this crab to climb a hill. This this video is now three hours long. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, just because it takes forever for the yeah. crab to actually. Going really off topic now. And then, oh, there he is. Uh, he's I up was... the hill. He's reached the top. This is the. No one has ever <laughs> done really, that. It's even further off off topic now. I actually watched a video the other day. This is entirely unrelated from our subjects, but it was of um, these guys preparing a lobster to be cooked. Oh, because someone didn't tell them that you're meant to cook it alive for a starting point, because it mm -hmm. tastes better. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> these guys, fucking, they got a knife, okay? And they go, okay, kill it. <laughs> he stabs it straight in the back. Right. As you can imagine, it doesn't die. <laughs> Instead, it just starts squirming, and they all start screaming and running around, going absolutely insane. He takes it out and goes for another stab, this time misses its head and goes straight into its claw and cuts its arm off. Which oh, uh, continues to move on the plate. <laughs> <laughs> Completely detached. And these guys are freaking shit. I'm going to have to link you to this in a minute because it's a fucking funny video. Obviously, I, f I feel sorry for the lobster, but it's the funniest shit. Anyway, back on the subject. Um, Alright, so we've spoken about the shitty items in the game. We've spoken about the shitty champions in the game. We've spoken about the shitty future of the game. Yep. What do you think the future's going to be like? Like, boots, more specifically. boots are going to be uh, like Trinket. That's that's my boots. Boots are going to be Trinket. Boots will be like Trinky. Tom Kench um, will be the only what champion do you think playable. Going to be to follow this, what we know is going to be tank meta. What do you think will follow that meta? How do you think they're going to make that happen? Um, Vayne is going to become good again. 
Well, not good, but, you know, better well, than... I don't know. With the Warden's Mail, they're not going to give her much space to become good with that fucking stupid speed. Have they buffed Warden's Mail yet? Well, no, it's, it's a good item already. I don't really need to buff yeah. it. It's a decent <laughs> item. No, no, right, you need to buff it. And and also, <laughs> make sure this, this new item is actually, like, 100% of your bonus health as well. Because <laughs> I want to be dealing, like, you know, 3,000 damage every auto attack as Tom Kent. While simultaneously having 200 armor and 5,000 health. And then a shield which heals me for 500, essentially. I want to see some new champs come in to switch it up a little bit. That's my hope. I'm hoping for Al Shin to finally come back from his fucking cloud that he's hiding on. Al Shin? Yeah. Oh yeah, I think Maybe not have yeah. a, a three He said what? They, well, when they, when they teased it, they were, I think one... I'm not sure if this is 100% um, like correct, but... Pretty sure a Riot employee said... But he was really he would they would release him shortly after Jinx was the original plan. But of course, to follow Jinx, Yasuo came out. Right. Mm -hmm. Then Velkos. Maybe Yasuo is our Shin Ooh. because I mean he's a, he's a wind warrior, isn't he? <laughs> maybe LeBlanc is Jarvan. <laughs> well, yeah, that's also. <laughs> Or maybe Jarvan's LeBlanc. Yeah, maybe Aatrox is... <laughs> Who the fuck why is does Aatrox everyone again? think LeBlanc is Jarvan? Why does, why does no one think Jarvan could be LeBlanc? It's <laughs> because they say to do one of the pictures, isn't it? Yeah, you can see LeBlanc's face or something well, I mean, in like a reflection maybe you can when see Swain Jarvan's... and Jarvan are I know, yeah, yeah, in the, uh, in the plate mail of like... Gangplank or yeah. something. The fucking... Not Gangplank, I say. But, uh... It's, it's... Garen. No. But I mean, maybe you can see the reflection of Jarvan in, uh... In, in in the Blanc's reflection. Whatever. Fucking... You, you can't. That is the image that supposedly shows Jarvan as LeBlanc. It is... But on screen, look, uh, Vincent's in the future. One minute. I'm trying to <laughs> put it out. I don't know if Vincent in the future is even going to be bother coming through this. Are you Vincent He's in the future? Who knows? <laughs> Come back next time. I don't see it in this picture, to be honest. This is apparently the picture that supposedly shows that Jarvan is... Yeah, I, I think I went over... I looked at those when it first came out, and I was just like, I'm not seeing this. This isn't real. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it is. We're going to add some... I mean, uh, wait, some wait, we're waiting on you. Some elevator music in I it. think that's it, really. Have, have you linked it? You haven't even linked it. Oh. No, I think that's it, really. Jarvan is. <laughs> I I looked it. I didn't. I just got bored instantly because it. I didn't see anything in the picture that it showed me. The image was shit. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand a... the theory of the Jarvan LeBlanc. Like, what am I looking yeah. for? Where's the fucking? I, I can't think... even find the picture. Are you kidding me? Yeah. yeah oh, have... okay. I see. It's in the breastplate of Swain. Yeah. In bird form, it's LeBlanc's face. Oh, here's a picture of Jarvan but, 4 in it. See, but they've got a point. Why would they tease us something so stupid if they're not going to make light of it? Okay, you need to link because I can't find this, this picture. Okay, I'll fucking link you to it. You have to look at the zoomed in version that I looked at because you ain't going to be able to see it for shit otherwise. Because I couldn't see it on the actual version. Cause, uh... Oh, crap. I mean, Swain's That's... fucking OP. Oh, how am I supposed to click on this? No, that's not it. <laughs> One second. Swain's OP. I mean, let's just, let's just get this over. Swain is very strong. There you go. Scroll right down past all that shit I posted. Let me just fucking remove that. There you go. I, I mean, I, uh, that's the pin tab. Uh, I, I mean, you can see a face. Well, it's very obviously LeBlanc's too. Yeah, it's definitely LeBlanc. Uh, it's 100% LeBlanc. The now. But the, the issue is, is why would they tease something like that? I think it's something to do with the law. I think. I yeah, think... it's to do with the law. But usually, when there's a law like this, they bring it to fruition. With it, for instance, they fucking killed Gangplank. Oh yeah. Yeah, they did. They actually killed him and reworked him just on the basis that Misfortune was meant to kill him in law. Yeah. Surely, if LeBlanc actually is Jarvan, that's got to make a change. Sorry, like, like surely either LeBlanc's gonna disappear as a champion or Jarvan's gonna disappear as a champion and make a, a whole new hybrid, maybe. Mm. Oh, is that? Oh no, it's not Jax being killed there. It's just a. It looks like Jax. Anyway. Like, oh, wait, are you on about the air? I see this. It looks like. Yeah, the fellow being stabbed. Why are they fighting in a volcano? Or is that his cataclysm? That's that's his. That's his. Uh, yeah, that's his cataclysm. Yeah. Although it would be cool if it was. A <laughs> Definitely make things look. Right, right, employees, get on. Yeah. There. 
Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We'll take a look at that Al Shin thing quickly, just so I can double check on that. Like, have you seen some of the concept art I released for Al Shin? Or oh, I'm not sure if it's fan based art, but this is okay. Yeah, early concept. Look at what he was gonna look like. I think their oh, excuses. Oh right, for yeah, I remember they this. Have guy. the technology in order to make this champ as good as they wanted him this to be. This guy looks oh, pin tab. The quality of the spells they wanted to make, they didn't have it. They could release him now. He's cool. They re actually, that's what they need to release. I'm fed up of these fucking stupid ass champs who were just people all the time. <laughs> like, I've. Re uh, Rek'Sai? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, they, sometimes, yeah. sometimes they go outside, but well, all Tom of them. Tom Kench is still humanoid. Rek'Sai isn't. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wish they would Tom make Kench more Rek'Sais and, you know, Ao Shan and uh, Ao, Ao Shin. I don't know. What's it? One minute, one minute, one minute. Ao Shin. Ao Shin, that's the one. But here you go. This is respect. This is respect. No, sir. So it's fucking five months ago. I don't need to read this. It's pointless. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm not 100 percent on this. But if I remember correctly, they said the reason why Alshin was not being released was because they did not have a technology in order to make him what they wanted to make him. Mm. They couldn't. They couldn't make the animations for his spells because they were just so, like, mind-blowingly fucking large scale yeah. that they were ginormous tornadoes. Yeah, yeah. And, like, high-quality, like, fucking spells and things that I just couldn't... Well, they can do, do that now, so... Oh, here we go. Alshin is an upcoming champion in League of Legends. At the time of Alshin's reveal, it was known that at least two champions, now known to be Jinx and Yasuo, were scheduled to be released before him. Due to production difficulties, Alshin has been delayed and may not be released until 2015. His release has further been delayed to early 2016 because of kit, tech, and theme difficulties. Well, at yeah. least it's kind of confirmed. They couldn't cover his kit or tech because the tech just can't keep up with what they want to make him. If you looked at the image I posted him, but he looks fucking cool. Yeah, I was, yeah, I mean, hopefully they release more people like this, like Rexai, like Alshin, or Alshan, I don't know, what's his name, Alshan? Uh, Alshan, 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 Alshan. 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 Um, like, I mean, kind of Swain, um, I suppose. This is a spoiler to some of his abilities, I'm pretty sure. It's a concept art for some of his abilities. Doesn't really give away much, but... Yeah, I'll shove it in the video. See. But one oh. thing they said is that his law, Alshan's law, is... Very, very heavily tied to Udyr. Oh. It's to do with the spirit guard Udyr. Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah. In, in... They actually made a... Um, Riot actually made, like, I think I think Riot made... I'm not sure if his fan made 100% or not, but they made a spirit guard by Udyr comic strip. Yeah, and the last comic strip is there, isn't it? Yeah, it's Al Shin versus Udyr. Yeah. Who wins? Well, Probably I, I, Udyr. I don't, next time. Udyr's I, don't know. I, I assume Udyr. Because... Odin's like the fucking ultimate monster slayer, isn't he? No, Odin's just fucking OP. Do we need to say more? <laughs> Ouch, he shoots a fucking tornado at him, he just turns into a giant turtle. Mm. <laughs> Alshin goes to punch him, he goes full phoenix and burns his hand. Okay, okay, so... 100% non-humanoid. So far, Anivia... And I'm looking through the champions here. Right. Cogmore. Yep. Cogmore. Both of which aren't played. Can we, we love that. True, true. Um, Skarna. Um, it's not played. Yeah. Cho'Gaff. Uh, Cho I mean, he kind of is played, but you rarely see him anymore. No, Cho'Gaff definitely is played. Um, he's not quite. He's not quite not popular, though, is he? Velkos. Velkos is not played. No. Um, he's slightly humanoid to an extent. But for the most part, he's more animal. He's played a, a decent amount as well, I suppose. Yeah, he that, is. That's about it. That's about it. Um, and right, obviously Tom not... Kench as well, who isn't actually played. Kaznix is a giant bug. Uh, right. Yeah, who's he hasn't yeah. played. Uh, but I mean, it's kind of more human uh, thing, isn't he? Yeah, he, he stands on two legs. Well, uses his arms. I don't think that's arms. the definition of a humanoid, is being standing on two okay, legs. Okay, well, I yeah, but anthropomorphic then. Kaznix is more of an alien. Anthropomorphic. He's... Yeah. Yeah, I, I see where you're coming from. Ramus. Yeah, Ramus, who isn't really played, Ramus. even though he's entirely fucking OP. Uh, he's he has... He, see, the basis of humanoid is very loose, and it's yeah. like hard to pinpoint on what exactly a humanoid is. I would is. go with Ramus. I, I would accept Ramus. Yeah, I personally say Ramus is um, more animal than human. Volibear <laughs> is more animal than human, but of course he, he's very human. He's very human. In, like, intelligence and everything. And... Do you, think is, do you think Volibear is smart by law? Um, I don't know. I think he was based uh, quite, not loosely, uh, the opposite of loosely, quite strongly, 
um, from the, the oh that that movie that was Golden released Lord. around the, that's the one. Yeah. Golden yeah. Compass. That and actually no, his champion itself was based on something entirely different. But the Thunder Lord Volibear. I'm going to sort of quickly. It was released at the same time. I swear it was released at the same time. I think. I swear it was like well, a similar time anyway. Thunder Lord Volibear. Yeah. You guys, yeah, if you guys look at Thunder Lord Volibear and then one minute I'm going to link you to the Golden Compass. Yeah, yeah, the armor is exactly it's, it's a bear in armor. Yeah, it's a bear in the same colored it armor. Speaks. It's, it speaks, yeah, it's pretty fucking similar. Yeah, Titanic yeah. Hydra, is, it does seem to be a thing. That was Just Brandon, yeah. Looking at... I, 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 I'd already confirmed it was a thing. It's in, it's in the per, in the PBA. I mean, well, yeah. the thing is, they added static shiv for tanks. Now they're adding um, thingy for tanks, whatever it's called. It's only a matter of time before uh, before AD, before APs get their uh, bulk. Oh, it's that old... Well, they have it. It's a hex drinker. Sorry? No, 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 no. Percent max health in magic damage as opposed oh. to... Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought, you was, I thought you were more aiming at the... Um, oh, no, no, I'm talking about actual APs now, yeah, with the... Ah, uh, when I say hex drinker, I meant hex to gun blade. <laughs> Hexta Gunblade, but that doesn't do percentage of health, does it? No, but I was talking about the active is exactly the same as Borks. Oh, sense. no, yeah, I'm on about the on-hit effect. But I assume it would be on-hit effect oh, applying to their uh, things. <laughs> hmm? Oh, Luffy's such a twat. Is he's not in this. He's not in a podcast because he abandoned us. But look what he just posted in the other chat. Look at that website. And just look at these pictures. It's called Sketch League. Oh my god! It's a sketching game for gamers where you get a name of something. I oh think. right, yeah. I'm assuming it's similar to Pictionary. You have to draw it, and it's honestly fucking funny. Looking at the picture for Azir, <laughs> it's just a big chicken with a little sign on its head. You know, I have to. Oh my god! Right. I can see the Azir. Oh, guys, that's, the end of the podcast. Fantasy. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. We yeah. definitely, okay, definitely need to end it. Yeah, right. Okay. So, thanks yeah. for watching, guys. I hope. Uh... Don't no, shut up. No, shut, shut up. up. You need to do your. No, you you need up. to do no, your. No, shut up, man. Yeah, go on. Shut up, say ladies, it. ladies. Go on, Brandon. Oh. Yes. People, go and see him. Go and look at his channel. Enjoy his content. Yes, come. Thank come. fuck you. Don't have to hear his voice in his content. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> in some of it. In like, some of it. For the most part, it's montage. So it is. It it's is. a lot of Katarina. Mm -hmm. Um, outplaying. Beat encounters, destroying not people. actually mashing my face on the keyboard. Yeah, he is. Yeah, and smashing faces on keyboards. That's why. That's why he doesn't Look, talk in his videos. videos. He, he hires people to smash their face on his keyboard. Yeah. While he plays Katarina. Yeah, I, I just use the mouse. Yeah, he just plays by mouse. Mm -hmm. We're saying similar already. It's pretty funny. Good old league multiplayer. Okay, another. Right, another then. Thing David, you can actually take close now. us off. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> no, this is the end of the video. I can't do this shit anymore. Oh my god, he's giving up. <laughs> is that it? Uh, he's had a fucking mental breakdown. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, leave a like if you like it. Leave a dislike if you don't like it. If you don't want to dislike it, please leave some constructive criticism so we can make this shit better. For yeah, you. I mean, in fact, if you fucking... don't like it, we can fix it. You don't just have to dislike it and yeah. leave. And never like, come home. Give we us can... topics, so as well. Cause... Give us reasons that you don't like our content, and we will fix it for yeah. you. We're always aiming to please, unless you're Vincent, then. Just dickhead. Fuck you, mate.